What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Bushido Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we took on Shadow Terrakion as well as the Hound of Cowardice, and I already forgot his name, but we took them on after he set that freaking large Terrakion into the village to harm the people, and we left off there, and so now we're supposed to meet Nori in his house, presumably to meet his mother, and then once we do that, we will probably take on the dojo and then move on to the last and final area of the game, I believe. But while I was off screen, I did a little grinding, and looky here, look at what I found. I found a shiny uh, Mimikyu, and I named her Peekaboo. I know, right? Very unique with the uh, the names. But yeah, we have Peekaboo and Boo. So if we ever need to, you know, use a Mimikyu for whatever reason, we got options, you know. But let's go ahead and get into a quick team recap, starting off with my boy Grunt. He is level 45 holding the amulet coin. I'm probably going to use him in the upcoming battles because he's only level 45 and we need to be like level 50 something to get a tyranitar next up we oh actually grunt is rocking earthquake thrash stone edge and crunch so his moveset is pretty good next up is dio brando he is level 45 with acrobatic sky uppercut we learned in the last episode egg scissor and bulldoze he is the newest member of our squad he has hyper cutter look at that defense Amazing. Next up, we have Alabama, which is probably our hardest hitting Pokemon until we get a Tyranitar. 138 attack. That's pretty good. He has Water Gun, unfortunately. Ice and Crunch and Bulldoze. Soul is still here. He is level 48. He has a 105 attack, but that's soon going to switch with his special attack. He's rocking Flame Body with Flame Wheel, Bug Buzz, Flame Charge, and Leech Life. Nevermore, the MVP, I would argue, of the last episode. He is level 49. Uh, he has the highest defense. Oh, no, he has the second highest defense, but better special defense. Uh, he has Taunt, Revenge, Steel Wing, and Drill Peck. I really want some more coverage moves or even setup moves like Substitute or something like that. Have to see if we can get our hands on that. And then last but certainly not least, we have Euphoria with Soft Boiled Echo Voice, Sing, and Light Screen. She has the highest special defense, I'm pretty sure. And of course, the largest XP in the game. So that is the squad we are rocking with for today's episode and episodes of the past, of course. Ah, Dora, follow me. You, mu you must be Dora. Thank you for helping my son. You see, my mother has been terminally ill ever since I was a child. Even as a young boy, I was required to do all the work in the house on top of my responsibilities as a student. I always believed that I had to do everything myself to help those who needed me. But now, I can say with confidence that teamwork is just as effective. Thank you, Dora. I now officially recognize you as a worthy as worthy to challenge the Nencho Dojo. I'll be waiting. My, my. That boy has always been bad at expressing his true, true emotions. Take this with you. It's the least I can offer. It's a sign of my gratitude. I spent almost an hour just trying to get this man up two levels. <sighs> Thank you again from the bottom of my heart, Dora. I spent... <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. I was looking for that. I was like, yo, are they ever going to give me one? I have a lot of gems, though. Lucky Egg. Give this to Grunt. Uh, yes. I'm gonna give it to him, and then once he evolves, I'll give it to Soul. And then once that's done, give it to whoever needs it. But without further ado, we're gonna make our way to the Nensho Dojo. And I don't like how there is literal lava in the house. 
I'll just say that much. We got a bento box. That's cool. You don't usually see boxes or any kind of items in gyms, so... You're gonna test my fighting spirit, huh? That's fine with me. Semi-seer, come catch this earthquake. Fire Vortex again. Here we go again with the BS. Only... If I would have been in this situation with Thane, I would have been a lot more comfortable because I could at least hit this semi seer The Obrando's level 46. Hound Doom? No, I'm not switching. Yes, sir. Look at all that experience this man is getting. But we're no longer getting any extra money, which sucks. But that's fine. Like, I would rather have the experience than the money. There isn't really too many things in this game that we can buy anyway. Uh, Flareon. Oh. Oh, we're burned. goes for fire spin so now I can't even escape oh yeah we shed that off though we shed that off though fire fan level 46 talon flame Who would I switch out into, though? Alabama? Nah, I really want this experience. This would be a lot of experience. Um, so I'm gonna just heal up. As he goes for acrobatics, but that's not gonna do anything to me. Stone Edge should Oko. Soul is level 49. That's what we'd like to see. Okay, well, let's get some more healing done. Oh, this is the final battle already? All right, well, let's do it. I should mention, Harumi did tell me about you. She said you were reliable, strong, and capable. However, I can't believe praise like that until I see it with my own eyes. Therefore, let us begin. Ooh. All right, things to look out for. Volcarona, gotta look out for that. Although, I think I have an answer for that. And it's acrobatics. Santa Scorch. I'm okay with this. He's giving it his all, he says. And of course he's gonna burn me. And he's gonna put up the sun. So I'm gonna stone edge right here as he coils up, boosts his defense. Yeah. Come on, shed it off, shed it off. I think Crunch here should be enough. Are you serious? Oh, yikes. Alright, there we go. Pupitar. I'm switching out because... I don't want that Pupitar to hit me with anything. This Ice Fang? Yeah, Ice Fang is gonna do more. Huh. 
Hakamoto. Oh yeah, I'm switching out into D.O. Brando, and I think I can just sweep from here. I think all the rest of his Pokemon just get swept by acrobatics. Oh my god, this man went for Dragon Dance. Oh! Okay, we're good. I was like, what? <laughs> Grunt is level 47, wants to learn Sandstorm? Absolutely not. Salazzle? I think we're okay to stay in and bulldoze. Yeah. Nevermore wants to learn Brave Bird. Yeah, F it. Get rid of Drill Peg. F it. Blissey. This is gonna be a crap ton of experience. Okay, I was like, uh, how much is that gonna do to me? That was 6,000 experience. Volcarona. Oh, man. I probably should switch out. Now it's time for him to get serious. Mountainous Roar. Speed and defense. And then special defense. Harshly fell. And I'm burned. You did all of that just for me to switch out? That's crazy. <laughs> you did all of that for me to switch out? Oh, wow. What do I do? I don't want a water gun. Let's bulldoze. What does that do? That lowers your speed, which is good. That's crazy. We're level 49 using a water gun. We're level 49 and took out a Pokemon with water gun. Alabama wants to learn Screech. Absolutely not. Grunt is level 48 now. I see. I understand now why you were able to hold your own against Frizian and Terrakion. I must agree with Harumi's words. You truly are magnificent, Dora. And so... In commemoration of beating me, I shall teach you the water walking style. Ah. Obtain the light flute. And we were given Nensho Rose. The water walking style should allow you to traverse the oceans with ease. Using your new katana style, you should make your way to Izumi Village. It is to the west of Hagane City. Also, before you leave, I'd like to show you my gratitude personally. Here, with or here with me, I have two fossils: the Cover fossil and the Plume fossil. Take it, or take your pick. Cover or Plume? I think. What does the? Okay, let me see. Plume fossil is Archon, so that means the Cover fossil is Tortuga. Uh, I'll take. Tortuga. You should be able to revive your chosen fossil at uh, Chiku Village, which is on the path to Izumi Village. I wish you well, Dora. I took the. Uh, I, I mean, Archon just doesn't have a good ability. It's not good at all. And so I just took Tortuga because Tortuga is cool. Hey, Dora, did you really think you could leave without saying goodbye? You know, I've been training real hard, too. I haven't forgotten about the Akui clan, either. I'm gonna get my Darmaka back. You better be, better be ready. I was I thought he was about to battle me again. I was about to be like, sir, I really do not want to do this. But here we are to chapter four, the ice cold heart is what it's called. 
Hmm. Oh, we got a sunny day. Sunny day might be useful for uh, Mocarona. That could be disgustingly useful, huh? Okay, well, I. Uh, I think I know where we're supposed to go. Let me heal up first, because I don't know if we're fully healed or not. There we go. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let me look at some Pokemon. We're like 48, 50-ish. That's not bad. I want to fly. Because this is where we're going. And we have to make it there. And then the, the shrine is right there. Okay. So we need to go back to Hagane. And then... We can buy some ramen. Right? We should have a... Yeah, a crap ton of... Uh, let me see. 120 and opens the heart. Nah, I just need like maybe 19 of these. Those are basically full heals and they boost your friendship. So if I had a Pokemon with return, ooh, that would be amazing. Because I would be hitting so hard. Now, the Kyoc, I know we don't have an encounter here. The issue is, I know we don't have a Pokemon that can handle Water-type Pokemon. Which is very unfortunate, so... I'm gonna have to switch out into Nevermore. This is gonna have to be our first encounter. Right here. And it is a Gorbis. Okay. I don't mind that at all. Baton pass? Psychic. Oh, wow. Let's throw a netball. One, two, three. There we go. I already know what I want to nickname this thing. Euphoria is level 51. That's crazy. Let me see. Uh... Yup. I'm nicknaming her Portia. Now, if you could, if anybody could, uh, that's how it's spelled. So it's already not the car that I'm probably, or I'm sure a lot of you are probably thinking. So if you can guess where that is from, I would be impressed. Semi-poor. Have you ever been brave birded before? Torrental rain. Uh, I don't really care about all that. You see, wow, that actually paralyzed me. What is that? Brave Bird animation. That was crazy. There we go. Get him up out of here. Send in slow, bro. Which Slowbro is that? Galarian Slowbro? I mean, if it is, I don't have anything to touch it anyways. It's Psychic Poison. They don't share any common weaknesses, do they? But they're gonna have a water move. I know they are. Oh, it's water. It's a uh, Cantonian Slowbro. I'm glad I didn't switch them. 
as he goes for surf. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <sighs> that was... Oh gosh. That was terrible. I guess I just echoed voice. Okay, forget that. I'm out. <laughs> forget that, dude. Heck no. I don't want nothing to do with that. Oh no, this is not where I can heal up. I'm tripping. Honestly, I need something that can handle water types because... With this next area, I don't, we don't, we really do not have anything. I don't know what we're supposed to do against a water type Pokemon. We lost our only answer in like two episodes ago. So I really don't know. I mean, we have, like, if I could teach Thunderbolt to Euphoria, I would be okay. We also have Alabama, but he doesn't have anything that can touch water types, but he does resist. It's just we're a little weak in the water type coverage department, you know what I mean? That's all. Oh, I could have got a Sharpedo. I low-key would have rather had that. Seeking. As they set up the rain. Oh my gosh, dude. This is annoying. I'm just going for revenge, hoping that he just hits me with something so I can do a little more damage. I guess it doesn't even matter now as he goes for a waterfall. Why does that do so much, bro? I mean, yeah, I know it's in the rain, but like, still, Dugong? That is a special attacking Pokemon. I'm setting up the light screen, man. Y'all are tripping. That does eight damage. That's crazy. Euphoria is doing it. All right, I guess this is our answer to water types. If they're special, that is. for you come on out because I guess water is just a little too much for our boy to handle which is unfortunate Gyarados oh my god and he put us in a whirlpool and his attack rose all right good we put him to sleep Soft boiled here because I do not want to get caught him waking up. Alright, he's still asleep. Good. I 
Gyarados woke up and went for a rain dance. That is not good. Aqua Tail! Bro, I thought we'd at least be able to live one. Oh my god, dude. Oh my gosh. Gengar? Vespa Queen. Oh my gosh, Euphoria. I forgot that thing had an attack boost too, and it was in the rain. But man, we had so much HP. I'm thinking like, we should be able to live one, right? Oh my gosh, my poor sweet girl. Now what? <laughs> now what do we do? I mean, I guess we can go get Pancake. But man, I'd have to do so much grinding to get her back. Bug Poison? But it's gonna be Bug Dark when you evolve it. <sighs> I gotta take, uh, I gotta take you. Actually. Yes, I'll take you. Uh, and lay you to rest with the other three. That is so unfortunate, dude. So very unfortunate. And it's really unfortunate because now I have to take this from Grunt and give it to Pancake. And probably switch train her while I'm at it. That way she can get as much levels as quick as possible. At least she has thick fat, you know. All hope is not lost. All hope is not lost. We still have the chance to find another Pokemon to replace Pancake and Euphoria. If they're, you know, if there presents, or, you know, if an electric type presents itself or another grass type presents itself, that's what we're gonna go with. Shoot, we had a uh, Whimsicott present itself. That would have been good now that all of this has happened. That's the only bad thing, though, is that um, if we get caught into a wild Pokemon battle. Oh, look at that Sandy Gas. That would have been nice to have. Huntail. This man made it hail? Oh, hail no. Oh, hail no. Yeah, you should buff it from your own stuff, dummy. Baton pass? Into who? Gorgeous? Okay, that's fine with me.
Alright, your defense. So she used dive. That means I can't hit her anyways. So I'm going to use this time to actually heal up. Oh, I don't have any more... I have to use this. I was like, I only just want, I just want to use one that like does 50. Dude, even if I had dive, I would take it. I would take dive if I had it. Pancake is level 24 and wants to learn crunch. Get rid of bite. Huntail. Aqua Tail is gonna miss. Pancake is level 25. <gasps> he wants to learn Swords Dance. Oh, what do I get rid of? What do I get rid of? Do I get rid of X Scissor? What does this cover? Grass, Acrobatics cover grass, Psychic. Uh, we got Pokemon that can handle that. It covers Dark. We got Sky Uppercut. I think we do get rid of Swords Dance. It's either get rid of Swords Dance or Bulldoze. Because I don't know if we'll ever get um, Earthquake. I want to keep Sky Uppercut because we don't have any fighting type moves. Oh gosh, I think we get rid of X Scissor. I hope I don't regret that. Is this a new area? Be Fanny. Oh, you know what? I could have switched out into Soul. Fell Stinger. Pancake got 7,000 experience. Wants to learn Body Slam? Yes, get rid of Covey. Send out Lapras. And then we're gonna go into Nevermore. Does Brian do more with the more HP you have or the less HP you have? I don't know. I think we're good either way, but I just want to make sure that I'm not... And I really don't want to miss a Steel Wing, so I'm going to just go for Revenge. A Raichu? Oh, dude, I wish I had a Raichu. What the heck? Oh, let me go out to Grunt so he can get some uh, experience. from Growl and the Earthquake. Oh, it did matter. Alright, let's thrash here. Dang, that animation is violent for a... Okay. I don't wanna... Uh, I guess this all is the same 
area. Which is unfortunate, because had I known that, I would have saved our encounter. Okay, uh, let's heal up Nevermore, and then we should be good. Let's also use a... Actually, give this Omulet coin to somebody, probably Alabama, because... Where are my repels at? That's how you actually evolve my Lodic in this game. Which, now that I'm thinking about it, I wish I would have got a Feebas as my encounter. How do I get over there? We got a great ball though. That's great. No pun intended. A Sea King. Nope, I don't want nothing to do with that. Rain dance, huh? So we got sunny day and rain dance. Interesting. No, that counts as running into the Oh my god. I wouldn't have minded that either. <laughs> I would not have minded the Gyarados at all. You best believe. <clears throat> Seismitoad. There's really not much I can do with this. I can Ice Fang though. Really? I don't want to miss an Ice Fang and get crit. I don't. I, I've seen it happen to me so many times. Heavy Slam is actually really good. Let's get rid of Sleep Talk. Obstagon. That thing is normal dark. Hmm. As he goes for the scary face. Takedown is not gonna do too much. That should be game. Grunt is level 50. Oh, we have repels up. We have a repel up. Ah, oh, dude, there's a Ludicolo over there. That would have been the perfect Pokemon to add to the team. I should have freaking waited, man. <laughs> we got a Dawnstone for it, though. Is there actually anything down here? It probably is something down there, but... He's blocking the path, and I don't know how to get him to unblock the path. But gosh darn it, man. A freaking Ludicolo would have been amazing. Look at him. Damn. 
Dang it, man. Vivalon. You wouldn't have a grass type move, would you? I'm not even gonna play it. I'm not even gonna risk it. I'm not. I'm no. He went for safeguard. Well, GG, because I'm about to brave her. There we go. Brayloon. We just gotta switch train pancakes so we get the most amount of experience for her each battle. Now this should be... That's gonna be game, you're not living that. Pancake wants to learn Amnesia. I guess we can get rid of Rest. Because like I always say, Rest... We're not playing competitive. I can use healing items. We already fought that lady. A Kingler? Now that's one Pokemon I did not want, and I'm glad we did not get. Huh? A Sharpedo. I wouldn't have been mad with that. I wasn't going to use it though. Up ahead is uh, Chikyu Village, my hometown. Cool. We've made it to the next village, it seems. Oh god. A Kingdra? Misty terrain? I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be a dummy amount of experience, though. Who am I gonna switch out into, though? Nevermore? Bubble Bean. Alright, well, let me heal up. Dragon Pulse will resist that. Brave Bird is about the only thing I can use, really use to damage this thing. Oh wow, that crit. Perfect. Orion. Now, while I don't think there is anything Vaporeon should be able to do to me, I just know that there's nothing I can do to it. I'm gonna go on Alabama because he's more likely to have just a solid water type move move set. defense. Aurora Beam ain't gonna do nothing. Yeah, lower that defense again. Muddy Water ain't gonna do nothing.
Okay, there we go. Pancake is level 38. Wishy washy. No, I'm staying in. I'm definitely healing up, though. I have to be careful with that. Endeavor does more. All right, we should be good. Yeah. I had to be careful with that Endeavor, because if he would've used Endeavor while he was, what's it called? That would've been really bad. But it looks like we made it to Tinku Village. It sounds like I can fish for my encounter. Or I can just play it safe. And see if I can get a different encounter. <gasps> Name Raider? Okay, that's good to know. I'm from the Evil Clan. We specialize both in ground and rock. Oh, okay. The fossil reviver. I'm gonna take these berries though. Why is that barrel just in the way? Dora, hi. I heard about what happened in Hanasu Village, too. You, you need to watch out for yourself. I, I'm worried about you. Anyways, I take it you're on your way to Izumi Village? You might want to stop here first. There's a lot of good places you'll learn or to learn new things. Someone can revive fossils here, too. I actually came here to drop off a scatterbug at a daycare. Well, I need to get back to my clan. S see you later, Dora. A scatterbug? There's a lot of guys here. Okay. That guy sells Pokeballs. Change the nature of my Pokemon. <gasps> oh my god. Alright, well, we need an Impish one. We need an Adamant one. What else do we need? Uh, you should probably be adamant too. Or at least, uh, Jolly. I think, I don't know. This guy, definitely gonna have to be modest. So let's take a modest mint. Let's take a jolly mint. And then a naive mint. Yeah. I think that's all we need. He has the healing items. Rare evolution items. Oh wow, the Eviolite? I'm gonna take this. And then you sell the scrolls. Facade, fire punch, ice punch, thunder punch. My bro, brick break. All right, well, I need these elemental punches. I don't know which one I need, though. I probably Thunder Punch. Shoot, yeah, I'm taking Thunder Punch because we don't have nothing for water. Oh, wow, dude, this is amazing. All right, well, let me sell some items, such as the Nugget. 
and that's probably all I can sell. I sell this ore. Star piece. Yeah, take that. Leaf stone. Oval stone. Oh, the gems don't do anything. Clover fossil. I could get a Pokemon or 3,500. I'll take the Pokemon. Leftovers is only 2,000? Dude, you're insane. The mints are 40. 4,500. Uh, what else can I get rid of? Really nothing. Oh, these revives. Yeah, we don't need that. Dang. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and uh, use our mints. Starting off with the naive mint. Uh, special defense will grow. Oh, speed will grow easily. Special defense will grow slowly. That's the wrong one. I need special defense to grow. And speed will grow more slowly. Sassy. That's what I need. Alright. So let's use the sassy mint on pancake. The jolly mint on Alabama. The modest mint on Seoul. The adamant on grunt. And then impish on nevermore. Or Dio Brando, I forgot. He already was impish. So when we take a look at everybody's stats now, they should reflect that. There we go. Perfect. This is good. We're a little faster. This is good because we're going to be a special attacker. This is really good because now we hit even harder. This it was already good, so we're fine with that. And then this is good because we're not a special attacker. We got our attack back. All right. Well, that's going to be it for today's episode, people. I've got some grinding to do, so hopefully when I return, <coughs> Pancake will be leveled up. And we'll see if we can get our encounters and see what's next in the story, I guess. I'll, I'll probably go revive that fossil too while I'm at it. But for today's comment question of the day, in honor of Euphoria, what was one of the most happiest times of your life? For me, uh, recently, I was given the title of uncle. My sister gave birth to my niece. And so that was really one of the happiest times of my life. Just being able to experience that moment with her was really cool a lot of joy around the family and it was really nice to experience that so let me know what your guys's most euphoric moment in your life was if it's something that you are okay with sharing of course privacy is always a concern so if you don't want to share that just you know feel free to express yourself in another way or give me a, a different answer or whatever it may come to your mind but anyways i'll see you guys in the next episode it's been real have a good one peace